He could find the blinking switch now, could he? That's it, well done, Art. The human body was designed for such effort. <laughs> and this year, actually, I'm, I'm going to... Go, This year I'm going to America for the first time. Nothing grand. Uh, it's a family visit. I'm seeing my uh, aged aunt. I'm taking my mum with me. I think the funniest time I've had in the last week was a company had to take some, have some passport photographs taken. She's four foot nine, and the stool was at its lowest. And she, well, I couldn't go in the booth with her. There wasn't enough room, and she couldn't get the stool up. And the photographs came out of just half a head with her going. <laughs> looking absolutely petrified and she said to me dad because my dad's very matter of fact she said to me dad uh, Jack do you think they'll accept him accept him he says accept him you silly moo he said go on blimey I've no well I've never laughed so much in my life anyway I'm taking him away and it reminds me uh, of the story I heard about Enoch who went to America for the first time and he got off the plane at Dallas and he hired a vehicle and he was driving along and it was dusk and he was driving through this tiny little one-horse town and he saw this sign, bah. And he gets out of his car and he parks it and he goes across the road and walks into this bar. And I'm not kidding you, it was 200 yards long, the bar. And as he walks in, he says, God blimey, he says, when you say bar over here, you do half me and you do you. And there was this seven-foot Texan behind this four-foot ten counter saying, everything's big in Texas. He says, oh, I don't see that, uh, kid. He says, I'll tell you what, uh, he's a pint of banks. He's wool, yeah. Two or three minutes later, the guy realised that he wants a, a jug of ale. And instead of getting a pint, he gets a, one of these two-litre containers with a handle on either side. He said, I only asked for a pint. Everything's big in Texas. My life. He gets halfway down. And his legs start to plat, you know. He's dying. He's forgotten he hasn't been to the toilet all day. So he says, excuse me, our kid. Where's the car, is he? Straight down there, second on the left. And he goes away with his legs plucked. Instead of turning second left, in his hurry, he turns right, by which time night has fallen, and he falls into the swimming pool. And there's Enoch thrashing around, shouting, Don't flush it, for God's sake, don't flush it! Talking about coming back home, this is a song called Home Boys Home. It's got a fantastic chorus that goes, Home, boys, home. Home I like to be, home for a while in me own country, where the oak and the ash and the bonny rowan tree are all a growing greener in the north country. I wouldn't I be a sailor, a sailing o'er the sea? Gain a good name for his queen and country. I sailed into a harbour one night for to lie, and this was the beginning of a true love and I. And it's home, boys, home. Home I like to be, home for a while in me own country, where the oak and the ash and the bunny rowan tree are all a growing greener in the north country. I call the tavern and I asked to stay the night. This pretty girl she answered me much to me heart's delight. I huddled her and I cuddled her and I ordered her some gin and very shortly after that me troubles did begin and it's home boys home home I like to be home for a while in me own country where the oak and the ash and the bonny rowan tree are all a growing green in the north country this pretty little fair maid she gave me such alarm she said that she would stay with me to keep my back warm i huddled her and i cuddled her and i ordered her some drinks and my dear nick i huddled her and i cuddled her and i called her my dear and i wish that short night had been seven year and it's home home i like to be home In the morning before the
the break of day Put me hand in me pocket And I flung her all me by Saying take it and keep it And more will I give She'll only be me own true love As long as I live and it's all Like to be home far away in me own country Where the oak and the ash and the bonny rower tree Are all the glory greener in the north country Now if it be a daughter you dump her on your knee And if it be a bonny boy then send him off to sea With his bell-bottom trousers and his coat of navy blue He'll climb right up the rigging like his father used to do And it's home To be home for a while in the old country Where the oak and the ash and the bunny row and tree Are all a growing greener in the old country And it's home This is a Rabbi Burns song. Uh, it's a song that I love doing at the folk club that I've got over at uh, Redline and Morph. And to do this, we have to split you into three groups. It's fantastic. And you sing in three part only. Absolutely marvelous. And this is what you sing. First group is everyone in the left hand columns right to the back. The second group is everyone in the middle column right at the back. And the third group are all those people who uh, have had their toes cut off so they can get closer to the bar. Uh, and everyone down here, on the right-hand side, you sing the third one. Now, all you have to do is get the note in your mind. Once having got that note, you stick to it. You don't change to what anyone else is saying. You just stick to the note you've got. Uh, the course is um, green, green, green. Change chord, green, green, green. Um, da -da 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 -da. The sweetest hour that e'er I spent, I spent among the lasses. Oh, it's beautiful. He was a canny old fellow with Robbie Burns. He was also very randy. All right, Kath. I think you're great, I do. I could live in your eyes. She says, oh, you'd feel a dumb as a dying one. Well, last time I saw her at the disco, I went up to her and I said, uh, can I have a dance? She said, I don't dance with kids. I said, I'm sorry, I don't know. I was pregnant. <laughs> well, I'm going to kill me. Am I still going to get paid? <laughs> it's a lovely air. Uh, it's a lovely air. Uh... Right. Uh, <laughs> these are the notes. Oh, wow, well done. Green. That's your note. Green. 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 Man! <laughs> right, do it again. Don't worry about the tape, we can always edit it. <laughs> One, two, three. Green. Green. I'm all over come here. <laughs> oh, right. And the other chord is green. 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 It's a bit high, but that's the... Oh, I've got to change the key now. I'm going to do it. Right. 
the sweetest hour. Oh, my God. So I've got my tight pants on. I'll forget up there. Don't worry. <laughs> so it's green, 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 green. You carry straight on. The sweetest hour that ever I spend to spend among the lasses. Oh. All right. There you go. There's naught but care on every hand. In every hour that passes o'er, what signifies that life for man if it were not for the lasses o'er? Green, 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 green. The sweetest hour that ever I spent is spent among the lasses o'er. Give me a carry our team With my arms about me dearie Unworldly men, unworldly cares May all get up so turvy o Seduce, you sneer at this. You're naught but senseless asses, oh. His apprentice hand he tried on man, and then he made the lasses, oh. What signifies that life for man if it were not for the lasses of green? Is a man called Tommy Dovey. I'm sure he won't mind me mentioning his name. He's just retired now, and this is a song that he told me. Literally, the one night in the pub, he said, uh, Mark up this, he said. See if you like this. I said, Well, I can't really sing it on stage, Tommy. He said, Of course you can. I was singing it on stage before the war, he said. Have a go. And it is tinged with vulgarity. Actually, it's a lovely song. It's called the Trombone Song. It's about this German band between the wars that comes to this country and lures this guy's wife away from him. And thereafter, he hated the sight of any trombone player who played in any trombone band that was full of Germans. And the chorus goes with his rum ta ra ra rum ta ra ra rum ta ra 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 the fellow that played the big trombone, he stole the rod away. 
He kept on pushing it in and out in a most peculiar way. He fairly tickled a fancy with his rock and roll and ride. It's exactly how he sings it. Right. Sort of curls his mouth up and does all kinds of contortions. <clears throat> there we go. I am a most unhappy man, I'll tell you the reason why. Me dear devoted darling wife from me has done a flyer. She opted about a week ago into a distant land with the fella who played a big trombone in a blooming German band. With his rum to ra ra rum to ra ra rum to ra ra right. The fella the blind the big trombone he stole her out of my He kept on pushing it in and out in the most peculiar way. He fairly tickled her fancy with his rum to ra ra a lovely rainy night a week ago today and at the corner of the street the blooming bandit bay now the fellow that played the big trombone he wandered by the door and the missus said she would like to wear his rum to ra once more the big trombone is stole her right away He kept on pushing it in and out in the most peculiar way He fairly tickled her fancy with his wrong to Now whenever this fella played he charmed me wife away and when he Played, he charmed a blinking life away And now I'm left with six kids to mourn As I wander through the land I swear I'll kill any trombone player In any blooming band With The fellow that played a big trombone is down the line Kept on pushing it in and out in the most peculiar way. He fairly tickled her fancy with his rotter. Recording's going to come to an abrupt end very, very soon, you see. The old voice is going dead. Oh. I'll, I'll try um, another chorus song you can all join in with. It's a Scottish song. And it's called The Shearing Song. It's got a lovely chorus. It's called The Shearing is not for you, my bonnie lassie The Shearing is not for you, my bonnie lassie the shearing is not for you, for your back is full of bow, and your belly is going full, my bonny lassie. Oh, 
the shearing's not for you, my bonnie lassie, oh. Oh, the shearing's not for you, for your back it will not fall, and your feathers grow and fall, my bonnie lassie. Was in the month of May, a bonny lassie. Was in the month of May, a bonny lassie. Was in the month of May when the lambs do skip and play. And the flowers were working on a bonny lassie. Oh, the shearing's not for you. Oh, the shearing's not for you, my bonny lassie. Oh, the shearing's not for you. For your back it will not fall. Your bell is growing full, my body lies The pipes they sweetly play, my body lies The pipes they sweetly play, my body lies Pipes they sweetly play as the troops they march away, and it's here I cannot stay, my bonny lassie. Oh, the shearing's not for you, my bonny lassie. Oh, the shearing's not for you. Shearing's not for you, for your back it will not go, and your belly's growing full, my bonny lassie. Try and do a song by uh, Thackeray called On Again, On Again. <laughs> oh, it sounds terrible, ain't it, voice now? This is all right, is it? Oh, flammy and bilby. Right. <laughs> <coughs> it's sort of, this is about a guy who is under the distinct impression that he's being nagged at. And really, it doesn't get on all that very well with his wife, so he decided to go away and leave her for a few months. And when he got back, his mate was talking to him and saying, well, how did you get on when you were away? He said, oh, great. He says, I went to America. He said, no, I met this lovely girl there. He said, and, yeah, well, we made love. And at the end of it, she said, uh, right on, kid. Great stir." He said, and I went to France, and there was this lovely woman there, and oh, she said, Magnifique Huey. <laughs> Magnifique Huey. He said, and I went to Germany. And afterwards he said, Wunderbarry. Wunderbarry. He says, well, what happened when you come back home, and you know, you miss it? He says, oh, what? He said, I was there. Going away like a 650 Norton. <laughs> Didn't you know what her said to me? 
I think the ceiling needs painting a knock again. <laughs> that won't be on the old thing. It's there for posterity, though. The song will on again, on again. I love a good woman, a woman, it makes my day. To me, it is palpable proof of God's existence, hey. Posterior, so I love ankles and those elbows and those knees. It's the tongue, the tongue, the tongue, and a woman that spawns a jump on me. Please understand that I respect and admire the frail of sex. And I honour them every bit as much as the next. Misogynist, but give some women the ghost of a chance to talk and bear upon. They will go on again, on again, on again, on again, on again, on again, on With a woman with wonderful thighs and hips And a sensational belly I just never noticed her lips We're always moving only when we got to the oldest She had to say I do She folded her arms, she gathered herself And she took in her breath and I knew She could have gone on again, on again, on again Till the entire congregation passed out And the vicar passed out on the choir Boys passed through puberty at the reception like look <laughs> At the reception, I gloomily noticed a family's jubilant mood, their maniacal laughter and their ghastly gratitude. She talks to me when I go for a shave or a sleep or a swim. She talks to me on a Sunday when I go singing hymns and drinking heavily when I go mending my chimney pot. She's down there on the street and at 95 on my motor bike, she's on my brilliant seat. Withering, moving on, and again and again and again. When I'm eating or drinking or reading or singing or when I'm saying my rosary, she will never stop talking to me. She's one of those women who will never use two or three words in a couple of million will easily do. She also talks without stopping to me in her bed of a night. Throughout the sweetest of our intimate delights, she never gives over, not even stopping while we go hammer and tong towards the beat. Except maybe for a sign, a groan, a bump, a bump, three shriek, and then she goes on and again and again and again, and I must assume that she has never noticed that she's just been interrupted. So totally unruffled she is, and as far as I can see, I might just as well have been posting a letter or stirring the bleeding tea. <laughs> She will not take a hint, and once she's made a start, I'll get you on a belt to bleed or faint or fart. She'll not up a syllable, I can stand in front of a grimly sharpening up an axe. I can sprinkle her with paraffin and ask her for a match. She just go on and again and again and again, even more. The hind leg of a donkey is pinned for her, she'd bore. The balls of a buffalo, mother of God, I cried. Mother of God, I cried, one day you'll let your kingdom come. And in the meantime, mother, could you strike this bugger dumb? Cause give so many the ghost of a chance to talk and bear a bomb They will go on and again and again and again They will go on again on again on again on again on again on again on Thank you. It's finished now. Oh, I'm in the evening, isn't it? You hear about the bloke who went into a sex shop? And... <laughs> well, he ain't turned the tape off, you bugger. He kept it on. No, he walked into the, this little fella and he got a, he got a raincoat on him. A little flat cup and bevel glasses. He about four foot ten. And he slimed his way into this sex shop in Horsley Fields. And he went sliding up to the bar and he says, Excuse me. Have you ever got something about nine inches long? Inch and a quarter diameter. Made out of wax. And the poor young girl behind the counter thinks to herself, Dirty old fool. 
She said, well, uh, yes, I think I could sell one of those out for you, sir. Is it good? I'm pleased about that. If I was you, I should go and get one quick and light because I've come to turn the electric off. <laughs> I'd keep it clean on the record, you see. <laughs> this little fellow was travelling down the motorway. He wasn't a little fellow, he was a very rich fellow in his, his Rolls Royce. And he looks in his mirror and he sees his speck catching up on him. And he gets alongside of him at 60 miles an hour. It's a BSA Bantam. Can you imagine a BSA Bantam 1955? It's flat out downhill with the wind behind it. It's 40 miles an hour, you know. 125 Beezer. And he looks at it. Keeps on driving, thinking he's seeing things. This bloke waves at him, you know. He's got a Second World War flying helmet on, you know. Flying in the breeze, just like that comic strip cartoon. You know. He's got a little raincoat on him, little flat cap and pebble glasses on him, you know. He puts his foot down straight up to 100 miles an hour. About 10 minutes later, he comes up. All right, he's shaking. I mean, the bike's going all over the outside lane. <laughs> and this bloke just can't believe it. He's got to believe it because it's actually happening to him. Not only that, this little fella gets out a fag with one hand. <laughs> like that. Gets a lighter out, one of those special lighters with a garn around it. And lights the fag. <laughs> <laughs> this bloke just can't stand anymore, does he? Presses the button, down comes the window, and he shouts out of his gig. He says, You silly buggy, you'll kill yourself. And his little fellow looks at him and <laughs> smiles and says, No, I shan't only smoke five a day. 